All right, today let's talk about aftermarket pistons on factory Gen 4 rods. Stay tuned. So on the, on the factory Gen 4 rod, <clears throat> the wrist pin diameter is 943. Most of the aftermarket uses a 945 pin even in the floating stuff. So this is, so that's a factory Gen 4 floating wrist pin and it's 943. So this is, and, and the wise codes are the same way, this is a Mala piston wrist pin and this 945, well it's actually 944 and about 7 tenths, but for all intensive purposes it's 945. So what we have to do is, on the factory rod obviously it won't fit. So we just hone them, we hone the pin to make it fit. And there's plenty of material and um, it's not a big deal, but just be aware that <clears throat> if you buy an aftermarket piston with a 945 pin and you have this rod, you're going to have to have it home, take it to the local machine shop. It's a straightforward process. It shouldn't cost but five or ten bucks a rod to hone them. We usually put uh, about a thousandths and a half clearance and it's, it's good to go. It's, it's not a big deal, but I just wanted to bring that to light because we see this a lot. People bought pistons and they think it's just going to slip in and they call and say, hey, you know, what do, what do we do now because it won't fit and, and they just didn't know. So, and you know, we just got a little mandrel that fits the, <clears throat> fits the rod and, and it takes just three or four minutes a piece to, to do them and a little wash and they're ready to go. But I just wanted to, to make a little video to bring that to light because we, we get questions about that a lot. So just be aware that, that you're more than likely going to have to hone your rod. All right. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, check out the website, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you so much.